There are many quotes about us women and our strength, but I will go with Maya Angelou's. Each time a woman stands up for herself, she stands up for all women. This film is dedicated to women all over the world. I hope we cease to undermine ourselves and own our magical nature unapologetically. Tim. Tim. Good morning. Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I came back last night and I met this. Sorry, I didn't know you were coming back so soon. Is it tea or coffee? Yeah, coffee. Coffee is fine. <sighs> that was a sweet shower. Good morning. Uh, you're still here? Good morning to you too. So I had coffee. Can I get one? No, you cannot. This is my fiance. Your what? Your what? My fiance, Tyre. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's not that I owe you any explanation or anything like that, but Tyre and I are in an open relationship, at least until we get married. You know, next time you're picking up a girl, just let her know that you have a living fiance that you're in an open relationship with. Are you okay with this? She is. She is. Just leave. Tayo, Tayo, come. You know what? You're a peak. No matter what a woman says, she doesn't want to be humiliated like this, even though she says she's okay with it. But you know that already. You just don't care. Yeah, not that I care about that judgmental look. Tayo is free to do as she wants. She's okay with it. Mm. So how many times have you seen her with a man you're seeing your civilized people, eh? Sorry for. Yeah, it's fine. You don't have to apologize. It's good. You're obviously not okay with this. Why do you condone it? Look, for the fact that you had sex with my fiance does not make you an expert in our relationship. Good. You should be angry. I mean, you don't have to bury your head in the ground and be civilized or modern and be okay with whatever this now, is. Listen to me. You don't know anything about him and I. So you don't have any single right to judge us. Please just leave my house, please. Is it? Is it really your house? Uh, I'm going, but I'm not the one to be angry at. What? Mm -hmm. No, I'm gone already. What just happened? I think your tea's ready. What were you girls talking about? Why are you asking me? You brought her into our bed, right? Why are you sounding like you have a problem with this? I told you this from the start. This is what it is. Tim, I'm sorry. OK? Look, Tim, I'm sorry. Okay? Huh. I know you love me. And I know you don't love them. And I appreciate the fact that what, you're not what? hiding. Yeah. What? It's just that sometimes, Tim, it's just... Tim, you didn't have to bring her into our room. Not our room. I didn't know you were going to be home last night. How was I to know? How was I to know? <laughs> Mom, um, Mom was pissed that oh. um, she didn't come to visit with me. Yeah, and um, she's trying to get a book job, although I tried to talk her out of it. Yeah. Did she listen? 
She hasn't gotten one yet, so... Uh, okay, you know what, listen. You're a good influence on my mom. And I love you. Only you. Okay? I love you too. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to ask you. Uh, I'm late. Do you have any plans today? Uh, just, um, my kid. Uh, Do you okay. want anything special? No, 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 it's fine. Okay. All right, it's fine. Have a nice day. Hi, Mom. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm good. And you? I'm all right. Um, Timothy hasn't called me yet. Did you tell him that I demand that he does or picks my call whenever I call? Mom, you know how busy your son gets. But don't worry. As soon as he gets back, I will tell him to call you. Oh, well, you do that. I mean, what kind of son goes all the way for months without seeing his mom? It's not like I don't appreciate how you come visiting. I do, just that I want to talk to him too. I mean, like every mother does. So I understand, Ma. Um, so how is Uncle Adi? He's fine. Uh, well, I hope you haven't spoken to too much about him. No, I promised I wasn't going to. Good girl, you know? You're the best daughter-in-law in the world. That's why I like you to come around. So that those girls can be jealous. Talking about those girls, I have a wedding IV. Ooh, who's getting married? Actually, I would have asked you to guess, but I do not want to waste your time. It's Madam White. She's getting married to that little boy. And she walks around town with is a lie. Happy, eh? You actually believe that boy is happy, eh? I don't know why she has chosen to disgrace herself in public like this. I mean, she would have left things the way they already are. Nobody would have known. I don't know, probably because they are in love. <laughs> love. Oh. You know, I love your naivety. By the way, um, you're going to join me to that party. Are you in? All right, that's fine, Mama. That's good. Thank you so much. And um, let me let you go. Have a good night, OK? And make sure that young man calls me. All right, I will. All right, good night, Mom. You have a good night. Bye. All right. Name. Why are you sleeping on the couch? Because I was waiting for you to come home. Since when are we the couple that waits around for each other? Since I called you and you didn't pick up or return my calls. Well, she didn't even tell me you weren't going to come home. Toyobi, you're being possessive and it's not nice. I am being possessive? Is it too much to call me and inform me you won't be coming home? I mean, I totally understand you want your freedom and all of that, and I can live by it. But you have always kept me abreast of your movements. You know, I don't like this thing you're doing. This thing you're doing, trying to make me feel bad, I don't like it when you do that. You can go and party if you want. Heck, go and, 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 and meet new people. Go out and make friends. Why don't, you, why don't you have any friends? Why? Why? We've been together for a long time, Tim. Have, have you ever seen me party? Do I even have friends? You, you know very well I don't, I don't get along with people. Okay. And 
that is one of the million things I love about you. I'm sorry I didn't call you, all right? I love you, babe. I love you too. Now I'll call your mom. Anything important? You wouldn't know unless you call her. I'll call her later. No, Tim. That's your punishment for not calling me back okay. and not coming home. Yeah. Hello? Sorry. I thought you were angry. Uh, hello, mommy. Good morning. Oh, you're sleeping? Okay, okay I'll call you back. Okay, okay, okay. No, sorry. No. no I'm not going to hang up. I'm not going to hang up. Okay, yeah. I can hear you. No, he didn't. He did. He did. So I looked at my boss. He had his poker face on oh. while ignoring the disgusting smell of the client's oh. part. It was bad. Did he apologize? He didn't. Pretend like nothing happened. So I carried on with my presentation and like I literally had vomit in my mouth. It was. It's, it was that's enough. That's enough. That's, that's so disgusting <laughs> and hilarious at the same time. Oh no. But you know, just like this actually make me miss work. Mm. Yeah, you know, a lot of people and their yeah, nasty, good attitudes, you know, no. office vibes no, and all of that. No, I keep telling you, you, you won't survive office politics. You're no good with people. I keep telling you, you're not good with people. Moreover, why would you want to experience that BS when I can do it for the both of us? Babes, not all offices are bad. There are pretty much good offices out there. No, they are not. They're all the same. Listen, you don't have to work. I'll do it for both of us, I tell you. I got you. I mean... All right? Tim, right? Yeah? Jane. We met at um, Olive Enterprise cocktail party. Oh, yeah, how are you? How are you doing? Okay. Ah, you're good. Whoa. Um, I forgot to get your number okay. at the cocktail yeah, party. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, sure, 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 sure. Let me give it. Okay. What? What are you doing? I have a business proposal for you. Okay. I'm sure it would interest you. I'm sure I will. <laughs> I'm sure you will, yeah. Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. I'll call you. Sure, sure. Why not? Yeah, so, like, where were we, you know? Huh? Me getting a job. Yeah, well, we decided that's a bad idea. Anyway, so yeah, what movie do you want to see? You know, we could... Nothing that has to do with farting, please, because I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't stand that anymore. <laughs> Ty, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are I'm you fine. sure? Yeah, I'm good. I, I just don't feel like it anymore. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, I'll go to the lounge upstairs and let me let me get your cab. Huh? Oh, that's fine. I'll sort it out sure? myself. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, I'll see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. He's a good man. <laughs> Ty, he's a good man. He loves you. He just needs his freedom, that's all. Yeah, he loves you. <laughs> he loves you, Tayo. He's good for me. Yeah. It cannot be that it cannot be that bad now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Um. I'm sorry, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's all right, it's fine, it's okay. But... Tie up, right? You can't be fine, I bumped into you. You should be angry. I'm not angry. Why aren't you, hmm? Cause I'm not angry. You look mad though, but not at me.
darling. Hello, mommy. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, you sound somehow. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, mommy. I, I was lying down, but I'm up now. Good. Um, you got me worried for a bit. Anyway, uh, the girls had a get together in the house Ooh, today. I hope it was a blast. Of course it was. I never host flop parties like Mama Yuffie. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to check up on you before going to bed. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, now give that phone to that son of mine. Um, mommy, Tim is not around. He works on weekends too. Tell him that he works too hard for the money he doesn't need. I will. Meanwhile, mommy, I wanted to ask, am I supposed to wear shabby to... Uh, Madam White's wedding. Yes, darling. You are part of the girls after all. Oh, that's fine, baby. Okay, take care of yourself, okay? Good night. Team, no, I have to get ready for my day. Can't do mine. All right, that's fine. Only cuddles. Team, I'm not joking. Mm -hmm. I. S <laughs> Team, you're weird. Mm -hmm. I I'm not joking. Shh, no loud voices, huh? People are trying to sleep. It's So where is Onyx Bar? Okay, um, okay, when you walk down, yeah. right, you turn your left. After okay. the store, next by your left. After the store? Yes, after this one. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's fine. Thank you. I'm so sorry for disturbing you. Right. If I didn't know any better, I'll say you're stalking me. Well, you took the word right out of my mouth. It's a small world. I guess it is. Have a good day. He's serious. So she just came out of nowhere like that to, to, to harass you? Well, it's not like she harassed me. I mean, yeah. it's a public place. Mm -hmm. It's just that I've never seen her in any of those places till now. Maybe you had, you just didn't notice. You know, one of those chance meetings, like, sort of like when you have a new hairdo and then suddenly every girl you see is wearing the same hairdo, that kind of yeah. thing, you know? Maybe you've seen her, you don't know. And it's not like she was rude to me or anything. It's just really weird. Exactly. Like seen her. I know. And I haven't spoken to her since then. And I never will. If it'll make you feel better. I'm good. Yeah. Anyways, I need to get changed. Okay. I feel uncomfortable. Do right. you want anything? No, no, it's good. Yeah, hi. So, so I got to go to my business. Oh. Yeah. 
Now this will be the last dinner you'll have with any of my clients. Don't even think of sleeping with that man. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, 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 I've not finished. Let me finish. Let me finish. You, you don't talk when I've not finished. This will be the last dinner you'll ever have with any of my clients. That's double standard coming from you. How is it double standards? How is it double standard? Have I stopped with any of your friends? Well, maybe because I don't have friends. Plus, we have never established any rule that says I can't swing that way. There was, there was no reason for any stupid rule in the first place, but now there is. You're just all about the man, like, 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 like white on rice. All about the yes, man. you were all about the man, like white on rice. Were you blind or something? I don't even understand why we're having this conversation. You know I don't swing that way. It's not even my thing. Good. You better not swing that way. It shouldn't be your thing. It should remain that way. Please, have some self-respect. Oh, I don't have respect. Team me. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is ridiculous.
Mommy. Mommy, can I bribe you into changing your mind? But you know I can't do that now. We're not even married yet, Mommy. <laughs> mommy, that conversation is between you and Tim, not me. I think it's about time I got a job. Today was so boring for me. I, I honestly thought I was going to go crazy or something. Maeve, working is not as fun as you think it is. We spoke about this. Let's talk yes, about this. we did, but you won't know, you survive it. You won't survive it. Tim, you and a million others are surviving it. Would you rather you keep providing for me than have me actually fending for myself? Yes, I would actually, because I love you. And no job will provide for your needs like I do. Okay? Besides, I don't eat where I work. You know that it's not my job that pays exactly my bills. Exactly my point. I mean, you're from a very wealthy family and you still work this hard. That's the whole point. I didn't start from scratch and I don't want you to. Besides, you know, you're not smart or resilient enough to climb the corporate ladder. The labor market will kill you. And I love you too much to allow that happen. Okay? All right? Listen. I don't want you to feel like I'm caging you, you know? But you know I'm doing everything for you, right? I mean, everything that, that I'm doing is for you. That's how selfless I am, you, you know, right? Yeah. Did your mom call? I missed her call. Yeah, so she said she's willing to forgo the surgery if we're going to get married and give her grandbabies. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, this woman said, Mommy knows better than to use <laughs> emotional blackmail on us now. I hope you told her that's not going to happen. At least, not anytime soon. <laughs> she was getting married. Oh, this woman. She was getting married and had children. <laughs> I'm going to work now. No. I'm not trying to hide anything. Listen, um, I'll send you my address. It's fine, it's fine. No, no, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. All right, then. OK. Babes? Yeah, babe. Um, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, yeah, what is it? What? So I need you to go to Mopsy's place at least till the end of the week. Why? Okay, so there's this girl I'm talking to. She doesn't know you exist, so, you know. Wait, Tim, you lied to her. I thought we said to always tell the truth. What happened to it? Plus, we agreed on no bringing girls into our home. You know what, you know what? you're right. Forget it, forget it. I'll just, I'll just get a service apartment, it's fine. I can't do this. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. I want to go have my bath. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you're jealous of some random girl, someone I consistently lie to. Lucky me. At least I have your utmost truth and love. Right? Please don't leave me. Leave to where? Like, even if I wanted to pack my bags and leave, where am I going to? Who am I even going to? Do I have anyone? Why are you talking like this? Like what? Like I'm maltreating you. When all I've ever done is love and take care of you. Would you rather I lie to you? Keep my affairs from you? Is that what you want? No. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear... Is that what you want? No. Good. I'll be gone till the end of the week. 
If you need anything, don't call me. Send a text to the private number. You know what to do. Excuse me, please. abusive. A lot of women would die to be in my position. I love him enough to live with his flaws. I mean, men cheat all the time, right? And lie about it. But he's innocent about this. There is nothing wrong with my relationship. And I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. Hi, team. Yeah. I got the credit a lot. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to pick a fight. Alright, bye. Yeah, love you. This is she. Yeah, I can. Date and time, please. Okay. All right, thank you. Free jobs. Yes, ma. And uh, you're not practicing anywhere? Not yet. But I would like to change that. I like you. Thank you. And I like your work. Thank you, Ma. And um, also because our company lawyer vouched for you. Your company lawyer? Yes. Anyway, you can be 80% sure that we'll hire you. And... You can get ready to resume whilst you wait for an official call from Mr. Gibb. <gasps> wow, thank you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope I don't regret this. Not at all. You won't. 
I promise I'm going to put in my very best into it. Right. Hey! Yeah, I know, me again. Wait, did you get it? How did you... You're the lawyer? Mm-hmm. How did you know I... You know what? Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, I'm not stalking you, by the way. No. I felt like you needed a friend and I also need a friend. So we could just forget about how we met and just be friends. Why? Because everybody needs somebody to talk to. But I have someone to talk to. Well, I don't, but I like talking to you. But we never talk. I mean, all you do is talk and I try to avoid you as much as I can. I know, right? But we could just go grab some lunch and then talk some more. Mm. Or not. Um, maybe some other time. It's fine. That's fine. Lunch is good. I could use some, some food. Mm. Let me grab my bag. <laughs> See, I was young and stupid. <laughs> As opposed to now that you're old and wise? Well, more like old and confident. I still make mistakes though, but I, I'm confident enough to own them. Nice. You will know? nice. tell me about yours. Your crazy stories. Hmm? Well, I don't really have any. Yes, I've always been the cowardly girl who just does everything, follows all the rules. Mm -mm -mm. You really don't believe you're a coward, do you? Look, the truth is, I'm never brave enough about anything. Yes. I mean, I don't like people. I don't like crowds. Mm -mm -mm. What crowd at the party spotted for you? Tell me. Funny enough, I don't go to parties. It's a lie. Yeah? Not even birthdays, weddings, get togethers. Sorry, my bad. Well, I go to those parties. I actually go to a lot of parties like that with my mother in law. Yeah, she and her friends, they call themselves the girls. And they're always hosting loads of nice parties like that. And it's always fun. You're married. I think. I, 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 I didn't know. I didn't know. No, I'm not married. You know what? Um, I think I should probably no, go. I, I mean, it was I'm, so fun having this. I, I'm sorry. I'm lunch. sorry if I spoke you with my outburst. I'm sorry. And I don't really think this was a good idea. Tayo, look, I... I have met my share of cowards and weak people. And trust me, you are not one of them. problem at all. I'll see you shortly. All right. Thank you. Yes! 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 Official employee of Yannick Designs. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. Yes, girl! <laughs> Um, yes, so I know it, it seems a bit too fast or rushed. Yesterday I was at an event and the client saw one of your designs. She was blown away. Wow. Yes, and she asked that you do a presentation for her today. So, I, I mean, I appreciate if you can trust us enough to do this before and prepare your contract. You mean like today, like today, today? Maybe I'm today. Um, well, Ma, I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity. 
But I think the timing is too sudden. I don't think I can pull it off. I don't, I mean, I'm not brave enough to just. Tayo. I, I can't Tayo. do something out of the box. Tayo, I have seen what you can do. You can do this. You actually work in the company of these rich and glamorous people. You know how to talk to them. You know, it's fine. If it's too much for you to handle, it's fine. We'll just have someone else sort it out. Miss Alade, she's a bit unwell, but I am sure she can do it. She can pull it off. I am certain. I've seen what you can do and you're capable of doing this. What I don't understand is why you think you can. So by the time we put the green flowers around the dining area, it will give you just that earthly feeling that you want. Nice. Brilliant. I look forward to see the awesomeness you're going to turn my house into. I'm, I'm glad you love it. Such a nice. Good work. <laughs> Great job, Tayo. Thank you. Right, so just then um, get the over where we can look and see that. are surviving it. Would you rather you keep providing for me than have me actually fending for myself? Yes, I would actually because I love you. And no job will provide for your needs like I do. Okay? Besides, I don't eat where I work. You know that it's not my job that pays exactly my bills. Exactly my point. I mean, you're from a very wealthy family and you still work this hard. That's the whole point. I didn't start from scratch and I don't want you to Besides, you know, you're not smart or resilient enough to climb the corporate ladder. The labor market will kill you. And I love you too much to allow that happen. Listen, I don't want it to seem like I'm caging. Hi, Tim. Is everything okay? Work? What? I went to work. Okay, I got a job with um, an interior decorating company. And I'm very sorry I didn't tell you, but you said I shouldn't call you, so I didn't. Why are you calling? Hello? Team? Hello? Hi, mommy. What happened with you and Timothy? Nothing happened. Don't lie to me, young lady. I'm not lying, mommy. Tim and I were good. Is everything okay? I called you, but your number wasn't connecting. I got scared because it's unusual, so I called Tim and a woman picked. Uh, I'm sure that's a secretary, mommy. The girl said she is his girlfriend. Apparently, Tim forgot his phone at hers. Oh, you know how Tim likes to play with you. Tim never forgets his phone. Oh, well, tell him, I don't know. Just tell him that I don't like such plays. I hope you're not lying to me, Omotaya. I will. 
So how are you doing, mommy? And um, how is um, Madam White's wedding preparation going? Any juicy deals? <laughs> mommy, you're not serious. No, no, that's not true. Uh, team just came in right now. Would you like to speak with him? I mean, you can't still be angry when I told you she is his secretary. I promise you, she won't play that kind of tricks on you anymore. I promise. Okay. Hello, mommy. I'm sorry, ma. It will never happen again. No, I love Tyre. I love Tyre. I I'll never leave her and she'll never leave me. Yes, ma. Good night. So, uh, after everything I said, uh, you went ahead and got a job. I mean, you didn't say I shouldn't get a job, did you? You said I wouldn't last a day, right? But I did. And funny enough, I actually enjoyed my first day. The tasks were amazing and I handled it like a pro. Do you know the truth? I did amazingly good mm. as a newbie. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're going to keep the job even though yes, I think it's a I'm bad idea? Yes, I am going to keep the job. I mean, you said it yourself, we should have fun, we should do anything and everything we want before getting married, right? Yes. Well, consider working my fun living, okay? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. You have wings now. In that case, uh, I'll withdraw your allowance, I'll yank it, and uh, you can continue. You know, spending. I was actually going to suggest you do exactly that. Yes. So are you back home now? Or are you going back to her? Huh? Oh, sorry, them. Tyra, I love you, yeah? I do. <clears throat> Amidst all your flaws and your weaknesses, all right, I love you. Now, even though I hang out with the most beautiful girls, the beauty queens, I chose you. I need you to remember that. I chose you. Aren't you going out tonight? No, I'll still deny it. I don't like it when you're sad. You don't like it? I'll also let you have your allowance back. It's fine. No, thank you. I don't need the allowance if I'm keeping the job. <laughs> There's no if. You're going to keep that job and I'll be here to support you when you fail. Huh? Okay. Now go back in there, take a shower, come out and join me in bed. I've had a very stressful, sweaty, and tiring day at work, so you need about 20 minutes in the shower. Huh? Run along now. And come to bed. Are we here?
How did you kiss him? The door it was open. What's going on? Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine. Now you can leave. Mm -mm, you're not okay because if you are, you will know that you have an office to report to this morning. And you're supposed to give a call if you're not going to be able to make it. Okay, so technically, I am not officially hired. So you can go back to the office and tell them to fire me. <sighs> Tayo, Tay, I'm confused. The feedback I got from the CEO yesterday was highly positive. Why are you trying to even give up before you give yourself a chance? What did he say to you? The truth. Yes. Working is not like working in the park or playing. It is a serious game and I am going to fail. Okay? So everybody fails. And then they get up and try again. You're even so lucky that you got it the first time you tried. It was so easy for you. Instead of you to be grateful, you want to just throw it away. Who does that? Apparently, I do. I told you earlier, I'm a coward. You are not a coward. You are just scared, and it is okay to be scared. Everybody gets scared when they are venturing into a new, into a new terrain. What is wrong is acting out of fear. We just don't give up because we might fail. We continue in spite of failing. Okay, and that speech is very motivating, but I am not motivated. Okay, so just drop it here already. I'm going to fail. I don't, I just want to save myself the embarrassment, please. Tayo, you need to. No, you need to stop right there, and Just stop it already, okay? You need to stop budging into people's lives and trying to bring in your opinion. Just stop it already. Why, why are you even this nice to me? Why? If you're this nice, why do you keep going around sleeping with people's boyfriends and, and, and fiancés? Why? <laughs> Hmm, nice try. Tayo, I think you need to have the phone you can have now that you are succeeding. And have a fallback plan in case you fail, which doesn't even matter. What matters is your happiness. Tell me something. Were you happier at the boardroom yesterday than you are right now in this house? That's your decision. <laughs> and wait, please. I don't lie. You just did. I'm serious, and I don't lie. Just be disbelievable when we get to the office. Okay, and help me out. Admit that you lie sometimes. Well, I just evade the truth. Lying by omission. And okay, I'm terrible. Uh, you just had her USC, then you went to the hospital, you forgot your phone at home. Oh, my phone is just right here. Uh, you just got back home and then you saw your phone and you're calling her and you're coming to the office right now. <laughs> I'm really sorry about Elia. Okay, that was so, un so unfair and um, really inappropriate. Okay, let's not bother about that one now. Let's just focus on getting you to work. Why are you this nice to me? I'm a lawyer. I make other people's business. You get paid for it. I'll oh, consider this pro bono. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
want to be the new mom. Maybe you know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. All I know is that my job is way more important than yours, yet I come home early. In fact, I've been coming home early before you for the past few weeks. You have? Oh, yes, I have. Of course I have. I come home early and then I leave again, but that's not the point. That's beside the point. I don't like the fact that they are taking advantage of you. Babe, no one is taking advantage of me. My boss is super friendly, my colleagues Does are... your super friendly boss abandon her marital duties and stay back at the office? Well, she's not married, she's engaged, but... She... No buts, no buts. They're taking advantage of you, Simple, and I don't like it. Babe, no one is taking advantage of me. And even if anybody was, I can't do anything about it. I like being used. No one is taking advantage of me. I like being used. Can you hear yourself? Can you listen to yourself at all? Well, listen, if you're taking offense at the fact that I'm angry that they're taking advantage of you, then, then so be it. But I'm not going to apologize for it. Babe, please, let's just stop, all right? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for making you feel bad, okay? But I'm just tired and hungry. Have you eaten? No, I've not eaten. How will I eat? Did you come back early? I've not eaten. As it is now, I'm already late for a dinner date. Speaking of dinner, we're expecting somebody tomorrow. So please come back early so you can prepare something. Babe, tomorrow is Friday. How am I supposed to come back on time to make oh, whatever I'm supposed to make? Complain too much. Figure it out. I don't have time. Tim. To figure it out, man. So you finally had time for lunch today, Abba? Don't be like that, Anne. I always have time for you. Well, I'm sorry I haven't had enough time mm. to have lunch with you, but I really need your help with this. Why can't you tell your boyfriend to get one of his numerous girlfriends to stand in for you? <laughs> Very funny. I'm serious now. Aren't you guys civilized and understanding after all? I mean, <laughs> you don't have to be the traditional wife. You know what, Anne? Mm. Forget I ever asked for your help with I am Team's predicament. I'm sorted. It's out there already. I cannot forget it. Mm. Maybe Team was right. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, why can't I take permission from work to handle family issues? Why? Maybe work is overrated after all. Yeah, you should quit. Yes, I think I should. Yes, because it doesn't make sense. I think we're all being used here. Does Miss Aladi take permission from anybody to handle her family-related issues? Does she? You know, for a creatively beautiful woman like you, you are stupid, naive, and annoying. How on earth did that imp of a man get you to agree to every stupid, selfish, annoying demands he makes of you without questioning it and even thinking about how it affects your life? Tim is not selfish. Huh. You know what? I'm done. Do whatever you like. Mm. Honey, I'm home. In the kitchen. Yes, I'm home, sir, please. Um, sir, let me get something to drink. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, but are you sure she wouldn't mind? Uh, we, should, we should have just gone somewhere to eat. No, 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 no. no it's fine, it's fine. Tayo's been expecting you. She's looking forward to this. Uh, okay. 
So what we drink? Uh, water, please. Water? Water. Okay. Talented cook, Tayo. Thank you. Wow. I love this. Hmm. If my wife was here, she would have requested for your recipe. Oh. <laughs> this chicken and the uh, jollof rice. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Wow. Just that she couldn't be here due to some things she had to attend to at work. Yeah. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. Probably a very strong woman, you know, combining work and family. Oh, yes, yes. She is. She is. You see, just that our patriarch society will not allow for working class women to express themselves. You know, I think us men need to learn to support women with house chores, you know, and then also make some compromises to get a, to, to have a stable home. Yeah, but when your woman is working, it's, it's... No, 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 no. Not just for the working class women. For all women. Hmm. You see, it's only fair. If you both share the house, then you, you, you do the chores together. And that way she believes you are a team. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I'm just glad that our generation, we've finally figured these things out. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Tayo, ta ta what do you do? She's an interior decorator. Everything you see here is all her. Really? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interior decorator. And, 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 and a cook too. Wow. So that went well. Yeah, but wait. Tim, you told your clients that oh. I'm an interior decorator. I thought you didn't like my job. So? You know what? Never mind. Oh. It's just so crazy. I left the office today without permission. Oh. <laughs> I bet I'm already fired. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't even last a month. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? Baby, it, you know I love you, right? And, and this is coming from a place of love. But I knew you wouldn't survive at the workplace. You see, the workplace is a den of wolves, and you, my darling, are a sheep. You're weak, you're gullible, you're naive. There's no way you will survive there. I mean, it's just common sense, really. You know, that's, that's what I meant. Excuse me. Oh. Okay, see, listen, I didn't mean it like that. Now. I'm tired. <laughs> see.
We're going clubbing tonight. What? No, you know I have to be home. Doing what, Lula? You know Tim will not be out. And stop sounding like you know Tim. What you do? What? Anyways, we had a deal. Whatever I say, you do. I say you know it. And is your date going to be there? Is that, is that what you really think of me? No, Anne, I was only being sarcastic. I, I'm, I'm sorry if you think I... I, 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 I was just joking with you, I was just messing with you. Well, yes, Tony will be there, and yes, I double-checked him. Good for you. Uh, hello, Auntie. Who said I was coming with you? Like you have a choice. You're going to ask. I'm tired of you. Yes. <laughs> Crazy girl. Um, Okay. Okay, so let me just close this. was too lit. Uh, I think I lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you were on fire. <laughs> I really dance so. I no, know. that's not true. I mean, team always says I dance out of tune. Mm, that's a lie. That's a lie. You dance so good. See, you don't even hate clubs after all. I love it. Yes. I love it. It's crazy how team things. I don't really like going to the club. Maybe because I'm antisocial and I don't do well with people. Does team know you at all? You're the most likable person I've ever met. And <laughs> now you're just saying that to make me feel good. Uh, no, I am saying it as it is. And it's, it's the fact that Tim doesn't ever say anything good about you is worrisome. That's not true. Mm. He says some. He says nice things about me. Like, <laughs> like he loves me when he chose me. Um, I'm level-headed and. Calm, unlike his flim flimsy temporary girls. Uh. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> He's a good man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He is. Mm -hmm.
team. Mm. What is the meaning of this? Of what? Tim, I thought we agreed. You know how uncomfortable this makes me feel. It makes, you, it makes you uncomfortable? Did you think about how it would make me feel when you went to the club? This madness is because I went to the club? Tim, you sleep with all the girls in Lagos just because she said we can carry on with our lives until we get married. So does this we only apply to you? Can you guys just keep it down, please? Just shut, shut up! up. <laughs> you know what? Anne was right. I can't do this anymore. This is so unhealthy for me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I'm not that evolved. And neither are you. I just, I need a place to stay for a few days. All right. Come, Tyra. Who are you talking to? You're talking to your lover, right? I don't, I've, I've told you this thing several times. Nobody can love you like I love you. Nobody will take care of you the way I take care of you. Don't you get it? Tim, if I am that unlovable, why do you love me? Huh? You use my love and my trust against me. You knew there was never a way I was going to cheat on you and you made me stay with your cheating ass. All I asked was for you to keep my sanctuary sane. Just because I went to a freaking club that is way more decent there's than... Nothing, there's nothing like a decent club. What is a decent? What, what do you mean by a club that is decent? Wow. What is that shut up, listen, shut up. Just go back to the room. I can't. Go back to the room, please. Shut up, go back to the room. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm coming. You're not going what, what, you, what, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? What are you doing? Just let me go. Go Leave. where? Leave. Just get out! All right? I'm not as pretty or classy or educated as those girls you always sleep with. And do you know what? Team, today I release you of that burden. Don't love me anymore. Don't ask after me anymore. Don't take your me. Just let me go, Tim. all you've got. Nobody will love you like I love you. All right? I keep telling you this. Whoever this is, is just deceiving you. Tim. Tim, just let me go. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. You? Mm -hmm. Yes, me. Let her go. Or what? It's going to get ugly. I know I do not mind ugly. My phone is on record, and I'm ready to record every single thing you say today, so just be careful of what you say. Tayo, let's go. Tayo, if you leave this house, you're never coming back. If this is the kind of relationship you want to be in, stay. But if not, let's go. Tayo. What did I just do? And I just broke up with Tim. Tim's my boy. Hey, 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 it's late. It's late and you're upset. You call her tomorrow. Just calm down. And I think I overreacted. He's a good man. I mean, Tim loves me. He takes care of me. He's a good man. 
doesn't respect you and he abuses you. He doesn't. Abby, he loved me. What, what did fine. I do? You'll what did okay. I do? You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Just come. Breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Well, just with me, with me. In. I'm sorry, Mom. There's nothing to apologize for. I'm angry because you hid all this from me. I really am sorry. I just thought I could handle it. What is wrong with you? It either a man respects you or not. You're such a strong and brilliant girl to behave so weakly in handling my son. Well, it wasn't like it was entirely his fault. As much as I want to argue that, you also condoned him for too long. Did he hit you? No, Mom. He didn't. You're lying to me, Tayo. Are you lying to me? No, I'm not, Mommy. Tim never raised his hands on me. Good. I shall have a word with him still. Mom, please, just let it go, please. I am not going to lose you as a daughter-in-law. Don't you understand? You are not going to lose me as a daughter, Mommy. I, I just can't get back together with Tim anymore. Even if he changes? Mommy, people don't change. That barely happens. Tayo, tell me you will still come and visit. And you're coming for the wedding. I promise, Mommy. I love you too much. I love you too. I love you too, my darling. May I please speak to your friend? Yeah, all right. No problem, Mommy. Tim's... Hello. Hello, Ma. Tyra said great things about you. And for your sake, I hope they are true. Because if anything happens to her under your roof, you have me to contend with. No, Ted, Ma. Thank you for looking out for my girl. Take care. Your mother-in-law is pretty badass. Uh -uh, stop it. She's no longer my mother-in-law. <sighs> I miss them. No. Tim. His mom. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Are you sure? You know, <clears throat> you once asked me why I was nice to you. My sister's husband abused her. Wow. He beats her and um, he forgives him every time and forgets. She says they're in love. Uh, she thought the best thing to do was to um, learn how to defend herself and so she did, so it evolved from him beating her to both of them fighting. And one night, she didn't survive the fight. She, she hit her head on the table and died of internal bleeding. Fine. If I had just fought for her the way she fought for her marriage, I swear she'll still be alive. I'm sorry you lost her. But Tim will never raise a finger on me. Why will he when he has you locked in chains? Tayo, emotional abuse is just the same. It's as deadly as physical abuse. You're weak. You're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You're not, you're not pretty enough. You're a coward. Those are words that should not be coming out from somebody, somebody who claims to love you. He even made you watch him cheat. And you could not bring yourself to disapprove. <sighs> 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 
to him and his mom. They took me in, took care of me, gave me everything I ever wanted. That is not enough to abuse you. Mm -mm. You're not his property nor his slave. And he needs to realize that, and this is the first step to that. Unless you want to be in a master-servant relationship, team needs to change. And he cannot change if you keep enabling him. the style you would do with it um for me i would have lost something long with slits up to this point i know it's age inappropriate though but then what do i care <laughs> this is love you could make something like this with slit don't you want something like slit hey sweet <laughs> yes mommy oh come on maybe i was are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. Are you sure? Yes, I'm good. So uh -huh. this is my best bath in the house, the bedroom. <laughs> oh, interior decor. I, I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, thank, I love you. It. thank you. Thank you. I mean, wait, it's wait. about time. Yeah, uh, this is the dining area. Oh, uh, wait, it's not. It's about time. You're like, going you to do this to my house. <laughs> it's not. Mm, I have to do this. You have to do this for me. I love it. I thank love it. I'm so happy. Wait. Thank you. So I can get off your head with all my my issues. I know. I know you've been amazing. Thank you so much. I'm happy too. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yes, yes, oh. yes. We're doing this. Yes. My own place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank so you. Thank you.
What are you doing here, Tim? Okay, listen, I've accommodated this nonsense for too long, so um, pick your bag, take your shoe, let's go. <laughs> My goodness. You have accommodated what? Please get out. We both know you love me too damn much for you to allow me to walk out that door. All right, uh, listen, I know that, uh, you know, I may have uh, taken the flame thing a little too far, and I apologize for that. Okay, so henceforth, I I'm going to be uh, faithful to you, so let's just pick your bag, pack your shoes, and, and let's go. Tim, you are an egoistic, narcissistic, selfish person. Get out. I brought you flowers, all right? I said get out or I'm going to get a restraining order on you. You're going to get what? A, a, a restraining order? Now, we both know that a restraining order will not apply in this country. But I'm impressed. Yeah. You are less timid. You sound like a bad feminist puppets, though, but... And you know, um, and this is coming from a place of love. Your friend is gonna lead you astray. Are you sad that I'm no longer your puppet? Is that the problem? <laughs> well, you don't know you're the sad one. You're sad anytime you miss me. Now, if I walk out that door, if you let me walk out that door, you'll never find another man like me. No one will love you like I love you, Tyre. Mm. No one, you belong to me. Team, I suggest you get out of my office now. Else I'm going to call the security on you. If I were you, I'd wonder why she's bent on destroying my relationship. Did, 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 did she tell you? Did, did she tell you that she was the one who came onto me at the club? Did she tell you that? She's always had her eyes on me. If I were you, I, I would wonder why she's trying to convince you to leave your home, making me a free agent. Are you even listening to yourself, huh? Haven't you always been a free agent? Please get out of my office. Just move. Team, the flowers, please. What the f Why didn't you call me? <laughs> As the defender of my universe. Well, I stood up for myself, and I'm proud I did. Oh, yeah. Happy. It's just really sad that. I used to be so in love with him. I mean, how could I have been so into someone who is so selfish? Mm. How? It's not your problem anymore. Mm -hmm. And he's going to come back. He wouldn't dare. By the way, he said you were the one that came on to him, mm -hmm. that you asked for the sex. That Casanova, we both consented. How was I supposed to know he is in a relationship? Uh, sorry, he was in a relationship. I mean, not like it matters, it doesn't. The only thing that matters right now is that you are an amazing person and I appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> but you have to stop sleeping with random guys. At least now I ask if they have a living girlfriend or wife. <laughs> God. I've learned my lesson though, it's better. I've you're learned. crazy. Better. You are you're quick crazy. <laughs> going to really make it in Hollywood. What is it? Tim's mom died in the hospital while doing a breast implant surgery. So yes. What? Oh, 
time. I... I didn't expect you to come. Thank you for coming. It's Sorry. fine. She was my mother, too. How'd you feel? Just give us a minute. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Thank God. I thought I was going to have to drag you out. Should I call you? No. I'm staying. Huh? Yes. I'm sorry, but I have to stay with the team. You're unbelievable. You know you don't owe him anything, eh? I'm sorry he lost his mother, but you cannot go back to this miserable relationship just to make him feel better. And please don't push it. I have you, right? Tim doesn't have anybody. It's going to be really, really bad of me to just come and leave him like this. I'm good. I promise you. Do you want phone call away? I will. See you, okay? Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Um, I'm good here. You can't sleep here. Let's let's go, go upstairs. Tim, honestly, I'm good. And if I feel sleepy, I'll just go to the guest room. Okay. The guest room. Yeah. I am genuinely sorry for your loss. Your mother was a good woman. Thanks. Can I see your side, please? Sure. I'm sorry, I can't. Please, wait, hold on. Please, please, Anne. I'm a changed man. I need my wife back. I want her back, please. I can't talk Tayo into getting back with you. I won't. I admit you're jealous of what we have. No man will Dad. love Dad! Ting, she loved you and you treated her like trash. Good luck getting back with her. Just destroy her, you know that? Yeah, that was not the one who almost destroyed her soul. Telling her she's not good enough to achieve anything. So much for a changed man. Hey guys. Hey. I've been searching for you too. Ah, Tim has been crying and I've been a big sister trying to console him. I'm telling him what is lost is lost. Thank you so much, Anne, for being here. Ah, I really yes. appreciate it. Fine. I'll leave you too. Hmm? Alright. How do you feel? Don't leave me. Please tell you. So you and Anne, are you guys like... Like? You know, like... What? Like lovers. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Why 
Where did she even get that fury from? She's very protective of you, you know. She sort of stole you from me. As every relationship should be. And she didn't steal me from you, okay? The thing is, Anne just has a soft spot for ladies in toxic relationships. Her sister actually died in an abusive marriage, so that's it. Was I abusive? Tyler, please. I would never hit you. I would never abuse you. Then what do you call telling me to my face every single time that I'm not good enough? That no one is ever going to love me like you do. That I'm nothing without you. What do you call it? Tim, didn't you know that those words are way more destructive than beating me or maybe hitting me physically? Tim, you crushed my soul. <laughs> I still wake up every morning and I try to talk myself out of the inferiority complex you instilled in me. Tile. Tile, please. please. Stop it. Please. Look, I've moved on. And I think it's best you move on too. Okay? The scars from mental cruelty can be as deep and long-lasting as wounds from punches or slaps, but are often not as obvious. Half or more women who have experienced violence from a partner reported that a man's emotional abuse is what is causing the greatest harm.